How's it hanging today, everybody? This is Robot Cubo, and today, everybody, um, I'm doing a bit of a tutorial on the Mac again. I haven't done one in a long, long time, so I thought I'd come back into it. Now, about seven or eight months ago, I did a video, which is actually my most popular video, um, how to get how to get Cheat Engine on the Mac. It wasn't the exact Cheat Engine, but it was close enough. Now, recently, I was searching around a little bit. And I actually found a cheat engine that works on the Mac. And it's, the exa it's an exact replica of it. So I thought, I, I guess I'll show everybody. So I can get updated. Now I have three downloads in the description below. All three of those downloads. We, it's two Plants vs. Zombies. Like I did in the first one. Except these two are more of an updated version of it. One is a DMG file. And one is a zip file. The DMG file has a password on it, but the, the zip file isn't guaranteed to work. The password is... I'm just going to write it down. It's STW. Yeah, just STW. That is it. I'll show you it works right now. I, I will link all three downloads in the description below. I see they're all here. Yeah. So let's, I'll show you that the password works. Um, yeah, let's open it. Enter your password. I'll show, show password. STW. Okay. Give it a second. Now you don't have to drag it in your applications. I'm not going to do that. Here, I'll just drag it on my desktop. It's giving them into load. You can get out of that. <clears throat> As you can see. Open. It works. Just as well as the other one. This one's a little up more updated, though. So I thought I'd give you all a new download. And it's got a, a better logo, I think. It's got the actual zombie logo. In fact, my whole profile that I had on the other one is exactly saved on this one, too. Let's get out of that for now. Um, <clears throat> the cheat engine will be also left in the description. And which is right here. Once you download it, you want to extract it with whatever extracting software you use. You should get a folder. Open that up. And you'll see a cheat engine that doesn't have the cheat engine logo on it. You're going to want to right click that. And then click open. You don't want to double click it. Just right click and open. Now it's going to ask you to make your like, to put in your password. Just to change settings on it. Sorry, I'm just moving my microphone around my head. Now, it, it's, it's changing, you know, you're going, oh, I don't want to put my password in. It's going to change my password. I have already put it in. I've tested it. It works fine. For, it's worked fine for me so far. Um, my password hasn't changed, so. Um, there was, it, if it's, you're wondering why it's asking for your password, it's asking because it's making changes to, like, to Flash games. It's making changes to them. So it needs your permission. So just put in your password. As you can see down here, the cheat engine came up. You can get out of this now. And as you can see, we have cheat engine on the Mac. Now I haven't successfully tested it yet. Because I'm not used to using cheat engine. I'm more using bit slicer. But we're going to test that right now. We're going to open up Plants vs. Zombies. Wait for it to load up. Let's close that. Start. Adventure. Oh, that's scary. Hey, it's my backyard. Not quite my... Let's just pick a bunch of random ones. Let's rock. Shh, fine. Uh, there. Okay. Oh, freak, I forgot. Okay, remember also, you, instead of clicking that, you click, click, clicking the thing. You gotta select the process, so let's open that up. Plants vs. Zombies already selected, actually. Open. Now, we're gonna see. We're gonna find 50. 50. 50. First, click first scan. It's gonna load up a bunch of <coughs> values. You're gonna see a ton of these. So. Don't worry, that's, it's going to get lower. 
When we go back to your game, we're gonna put down a lily pad. So now we got 25. Let's go back into this f and look and look for 25. There it is. Now we're gonna right click it and where is change? Oh yeah, you wanna go to change record, go to value, and we're gonna change to like. I don't even know. Okay. Go back into this. And as you can see, this is going to go off the screen. Now, if you click sun, it's going to go down like that. And as you can see, now we have, like, unlimited sun. It is pretty cray-cray. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, guys, make sure to drop a like. Every little bit shows that you guys actually really enjoy what I make. It makes me want to keep making more... And if you want to make more tutorials on the Mac, make sure to just leave a comment below. And I will do so. Thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, there's so much more you can do with the cheat engine. I'm not going to get into all of it. Make sure to look into it more if you're really interested in it. And I'll see you later, guys. Have a nice day.